in high definition. This is CBS 2 News at 11. Good evening, I'm Paul Major. And I'm Laura Diaz. Here's the latest at 11 o'clock. It was 40 years ago that Senator Robert F. Kennedy was killed here in Los Angeles. Sirhan Sirhan has been behind bars ever since. Tonight, a forensic expert in a high-tech crime lab has come up with a new theory that could have police looking for a second gunman. CBS 2 investigative reporter David Goldstein has the exclusive details. My thanks to all of you, and now it's on to Chicago, and let's win there. It was a night that changed history. Shot in the head, definitely. Senator Robert Kennedy, shot and killed. Everybody else, just please stay back. Just a doctor, come right here. Sirhan Sirhan. I did not commit this crime. Tried and convicted, but now a forensic scientist. You can hear a number of the shot sounds. In a high-tech crime lab in Tucson, equalization capabilities here is attempting to rewrite history. Do you believe Sirhan Sirhan was the only gunman? I believe he was definitely not the only gunman. Phil Von Prague's startling revelation is based on a new computer analysis of this six seconds of sound. <laughs> It's the only known recording of the assassination taken by a radio reporter. Listen again. The screams are just about anything anyone has been able to discern for years. But now, by plotting it on a computer... This very high amplitude area you see here is the beginning of the screams. Filtering out the noise and slowing the speed... Von Prague has come to a new conclusion. There had to have been two guns. That's because he's identified 13 shots on the recording and plotted them all on his computer screen. This is shot seven and shot eight. And in two instances, he's identified the shots just milliseconds apart. That tells us that there had to have been a second gun firing in that pantry because it's impossible for an individual, any individual, to shoot an Ivor Johnson Cadet 55 that rapidly. An Ivor Johnson Cadet, similar to this one, was the gun Sirhan used. It only holds eight bullets. The other shots, according to his audio analysis, came from an H&R 922 like this one, fired, he says, by a mystery gunman. Should this case be reopened? In my opinion, yes. Von Prague has teamed with forensic expert Bob Joling on a book about their findings. Joling has studied the assassination for more than 30 years. The new analysis backs up his theory that Sirhan fired shots, but not the fatal ones. You're saying Sirhan didn't commit the crime? He did not commit the murder of Robert Kennedy. He did commit a crime, but not, he did not assassinate Robert Kennedy. He was in, a, in no position to be able to fire his gun in order to inflict the uh, fatal wound to Senator Kennedy from behind. He says the mysterious second gunman actually fired those shots. So who was he? Conspiracy theorists have always talked about a security guard, but that's something these scientists can't answer. It would be nice if my equipment was able to, to spew out a name, uh, but that's not the way it works. Well, there's already been at least two investigations into the assassination, and that hasn't changed the outcome. But both forensic scientists believe there's now enough new evidence for the case to be reopened. A spokesperson for the L.A. District Attorney, Steve Cooley, says he hasn't yet read the new findings. I'm David Goldstein, CBS 2 News. Paul, back to you. David, thank you very much. A Santa Monica Middle